hello and welcome back to another session this time it's war tales cooperative mode i got a very special someone with me uh, chris is back on the channel chris thank you so much for joining us today um, are you excited about war tales yeah it's been a while that i've played i'm curious to see just how badly we get battered all right so speaking about getting badly battered we have um, already set up our custom group we're starting with ranger a warrior swordsman and an archer and we decided that we're going to hire a pugilist and i think chris you wanted to take a spearman rules of the run is uh, we're going to alternate in taking moves uh, which will make it a little bit more difficult to strategize and plan and we're starting in the non tiltran region um, in Arthas, uh, where we are playing on expert expert difficulty so that's going to be a little something uh, chris how long was it uh, since you touched war tales the last time uh, very long like at least half a year which means you are absolutely familiar with the mechanics and uh, nothing will go wrong i wouldn't bet money on that <laughs> I'm just gonna look to you for like the strategic decision. No, 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 no. We're going to. Uh -huh. Part of the fun is uh, you and I will uh, suffer through it together. So enough is enough. After bearing a horrible captain's abuse for far too long, our companions have finally uh, decided to move on. Um, very good. We find ourselves um, in the middle of Arthur's, and before we can even go to the shores and. To, uh, get into the world of pirates i think um we're going to do a bit of housekeeping let's maybe start uh, with uh, selecting profession uh, proficients um, and uh in order to do that chris we need to go to corthia and we actually need to kind of um go into each of the different locations blacksmith you need to go into uh the uh, smithing uh, in the apothecary you can unlock alchemist so these two are now unlocked um, and I think that's uh, that's pretty much it so let's talk about what are the proficients that you want uh, to take uh, I got the swordsman who's going to be our tank and the ranger who is going to be melee DPS and I think uh, you got uh, melee AOE DPS and you got a uh, archer as well right Yep. Good. So, any uh, particular preference what you want to do? I mean, three out of the four we have available are like applicable to the ranger, uh, to the archer. archer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the question is do you rather have crit or dexterity on your ranger, quote unquote, on your rogue? Uh, both is fine. I personally prefer crit but i'm open um yeah for take, take the tinker with yours and i guess uh <sighs> thievery is not great if you can't save scum it so oh no no it is very good eh. sure i'll take thievery then on the ranger good with kualu i think what i'm going to do is uh, instead of taking the typical cooking i would take mining so that i get the resources for us how about that i'm sure i'll take uh blacksmith on uh, freya then very good okay so we got a little starting uh step um anything we do have 100 gold pieces anything in particular that we would want uh, to do can we purchase something there were two of us working here nah, until not Count really Mahar enlisted my cousin in his arm good well i'm slightly confused why does my guy have aptitude points my ranger uh, my archer uh sometimes they already started level two uh yeah. mm. is Looks that the, like case? the case well i'm good for you you might have selected an experience trait. Uh, no, actually. So I guess I just got lucky. <laughs> well, I seem to recall that ending turn next to an ally was pretty good for rangers. So that indeed that is the case. Let's take a look um, if we're finding some uh, something to do for starters. For we're going I'm to look for some work. 
Uh, how about a hard fight uh, against uh, the guards? Seems like a terrible idea. What about an easy fight <laughs> against someone else? All right, we're taking two easy missions, and I think that's good. Let's take the hard one just so that we do have another one. Um, and since we're here, let's also inspect. We have a brute available. This is uh, the guy Seagos. We got a pugilist available with a fantastic willpower and a good trait, uh, which I would love to recruit. And we got a swordsman available. Uh, so no spearman this time. But if it is okay for you, since that uh, pugilist is actually quite good. Oh, we can't recruit him. Oh, that is disheartening. And also appears to be a lady, but maybe she'll still be here when we come back. Yep. Well, we got to get a bit of influence. And the best way of getting that is actually doing the first uh, mission. So we would need to go into this direction, Chris. Oh, I'm coming. We're, we're going right into... I think it's the mountain ridge that we... Anna, we... I actually misled you, I'm so sorry. We're, we need to go into the mountains and we can't even we can't even sprint yet. Well, this is going to be fun. One of the first things that we need to uh, take is sprint. This is horribly slow. Indeed it is, indeed it is. All right, party A ventures. Casual scroll. <laughs> party <laughs> ventures into the mountains. Good, but if I recall really... correctly, we even have a couple of, um, we do have a mine up here. So we have a couple of options. Ah, there we go. Knowledge point. I learned run for us, if that is okay I, for you. I guess as much. <laughs> All right. Good. We got Gallus here. Gallus has a bit of a problem. Don't tell anyone I'm here. Please. I beg you. You must keep this to yourselves. The citizens of Prano are out to kill me. They say I've been contaminated. My parents were already dead. There was nothing left to eat. I had no choice. So what are we going to do? Spare or shall we execute him? I mean, he ate people. Also, I seem to recall that he gets like wrecked even if you spare him. Well, uh, it's up to you. You are the moral compass of this group. No. <laughs> you straight up executed him. All right, Chris. I see what kind of playthrough this is going to be. Unfortunately, we don't have a miner. Uh, I do. I am a miner. Oh yeah, wait, you said you were. So that's the whole reason for coming here. Yes, do you recall the last time we, we attempted this, there was an issue where... Like, you had some... I had some delay when I tried to mine, but I think we tried a different setup then. That's true. And this is super important because uh, we need a blacksmith as well to get our base gear. Very good. Is there even a third vein? No, we're good. Well, you successfully executed the poor soul. So, oh, and we're still getting attacked. The plague ridden man who ate his parents. Ha, <laughs> good riddance. You did well. Anyone infected by the plague needs to be killed as soon as... Take this. The village's food supplies are running low. But you have done so much for us. Totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Chris. Uh, we are uh, lacking influence for the recruiting still. Morally impeccable, as always. Gotta keep that plague from spreading. <laughs> okay, we're going to get some influence. It's unfortunate uh, that that um, we're now resting because that means we're potentially going to lose that recruit. And she was quite good. Anyways, um, 
So we do have a little bit of bread. Just uh, wondering for the level up because I haven't done that yet. Like I have a single plus on willpower and two on movement. Yeah, we don't have career planning yet, which is the next uh, knowledge point that we're getting. The moment that we do have career planning, you can choose your stat every single time. You basically pay with influence. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, does that work retroactively? I don't recall. No, it does not. So. Okay, so I'm screwed anyway. Might as well. No, no. What, 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 what were your options? Movement with two points or willpower with one Well, see, point. you can take movement. Uh, it's good. Movement and willpower are the first two stats. Coolio. Good, we're almost running out of food. Food requirements not met. No, because I mm. have two drunk hearts. <laughs> Jesus, okay. I do have two drunk hearts. Uh, created, uh, by the way, a lockpick and a fisher hook, oh, mainly because I want to get us a couple of extra knowledge points, just so that we're starting out. And whilst we're at it, look at this. I got us a little something for another knowledge point. Look here. There is a cooking pot. Which, but we don't have a cook. Uh, no, that is true, because I went for minor. Um, a cook gets um, a lot of constitution, so it's perfect for a tank. But this playthrough might be uh, one without a cook. All right. In terms of um, in terms of two uh, points, I would suggest we're learning career plans for two points, which is the single most important one after running. Are you in agreement with that? Did they increase cost on that, or do you just need to? Oh no, you need to like use weighted. You need to unlock something else first, right? No, 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 no. Um, they uh, change oh, it no. into basic knowledge, advanced knowledge, and like deep knowledge. So it's one, two, and three points. Uh, it's just categorizing, making oh, yeah. it uh, more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, career planning is usually very high on my list too. Good. Totally. Well then, I got us that, and now uh there by the way is our first uh, target i will say though that is the hard fight so we might not want to take it and instead pass by them depending on how you feel if you want to take a hard fight that's good i mean they're currently fighting against wolves so if you want we can chime in let's go let's go baby let's help the wolves <laughs> okay are you uh, in combat as well yeah. All right. So we're helping uh, the wolves. We're attacking Sorella the Weasel. Initiate combat. It's going to be fun. Still a bit confusing, like how the co-op thing works. Like I'm never sure if you actually clicked on something or not. Uh, me neither. Play any unit you haven't used yet in the round. Okay. Oh, sorry. I uh, clicked that uh, off of you. So you can. First of all, position your characters. We're fighting against Celilia the Weasel, uh, who does have a solid 50 uh, hit points with 35 guard. In a comparison, Kualu, our tank, has 30 hit points with 12% guard. Fantastic. Uh, wasn't it possible to see like movement ranges? Uh, not exactly, but you can hit the Alt key. And with the Alt key, you can see all of the usable items. For instance, down uh, below Freya, we do have a spear. Uh, so if anyone comes closer, we can essentially spear throw uh, there. Uh, will potentially not happen, but I might raise your uh, attention to the left hand side from Kalia, where you see a snow iris. Uh, so the snow iris allows uh, to basically self heal. Heals dying, 10% of max health, poison bleeding and burning goes away. Oh, that's new, right? Yeah, that is new. They put a lot more, uh, more emphasis on um, basically environmental stuff. So, um, well, pretty easy setup with the defensive line, so to speak. Like, they can really only advance through two gaps. Correct. Potentially. And we have two wolves on the right flank, so 
probably gonna join you. Oops. Yeah, do you want to? Over here. Okay. So, um, do you want to start or shall I start? And then we're alternating. Uh, I will probably just uh, use this opportunity to have a little shoot with uh, the archer. Yeah, shooty, shooty, remember, all right. All right remind me, the, um, you can still move after shooting, right? Correct, yeah, yeah. And if you are adjacent to someone, you will never hit that uh, character. So say if you were to stay next to Kualu or next to Freya, they just shoot through. Oh, okay. I did not remember that. Oh, that's how it works. All right. I can see my uh, attack range now. And another tip is uh, if you right click on a skill, uh, you see the attack range. Yeah. Now I found out how I can see the, uh, the movement range as well, which means I'm actually going to start it over here and I'm going to shoot that uh, henchman. That one's most likely to go down. Uh, okay. I think that's a good idea. All right. Uh, the henchmen both are warriors um, of type, uh, and as outlaws, they don't have anything going for them other than as long as the leader is uh, alive, they have 20% more damage. Very good. Take a little shot. Okay. That was not too bad. Go over there. And like a weasel, you go back behind the enemy's lines. Okay, cool. Just getting us some points. Wolves are taking some damage. Uh, I will close uh, the corridor here. And I am wondering how I am going to go about that. I think the best way of going about it is to actually stay right here because that will mean both of them are coming uh, closer we're going to engage which is great and I am going to uh, spend a Vela point to weaken that character meaning he does 50% less damage end of turn for me our wolf is getting absolutely hammered. Now it's Literally your turn again. In this case? Yes. Uh, I think I would prefer if you could take your turn first. All right. Since that will allow the weasel to move in, and then potentially I can hit both of them with the axe. All right. See, one of the henchmen is now severely, severely injured. And I'm moving next to Kualu. For your info, the moment that two people that are not engaged are standing next to a target, the target gets the supported buff. And supported buff reduces damage by 20%. So say if you uh, would move your ranger next round there, Kualu would uh, tank better. Just pointing that out uh, so that you are oh. aware of that. Yeah, I was only aware of the surround thing, not the support thing. Good. I he seem comes to recall a mechanic like that, but he comes in on. and we lost Whew. all of our all of our guard. Good. Go ahead. Unfortunate. All right. So we have quite a bit of movement. Um. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't think I can hit both of them. I will try to see if that works and. Uh, You can now see I am supported, 20% yeah, damage uh, reduction. Yeah, the problem is if I do attack her from here, I do enter combat with her and I can no longer move. Uh, that is true, but I can taunt her off of you if we get the raider down next turn. Just need to focus on him. Yeah, well, I can hit you and her, but I can't hit the ranger, unfortunately. Uh, I think the easier choice here is to just go a little bit back. That is and an option, yeah. From range, uh, three damage. That's pathetic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She has thirty-five percent, thirty-five percent guard. So we need to hit her from behind. Yeah. Through. Would you prefer me to be like adjacent to her or no? Uh, as long as you're adjacent to me, everything's fine. But. Uh, it's up to you. Um, you currently do have a little bit hit points left over. Alright, I'll go here. 
Uh, and should I heal you? It seems like a bit of a waste. Uh, at the moment, two points? Uh, two points? No, that's not not yet. All right. But that's going to be a problem. We need to deal with uh, the AOE damage there. All right. Who's going to go first? Uh, probably going to go in and shoot the uh, AOE dude. And that's an uh, option. Unless you need a move. No, you can't move out, right? Uh, I can move out. Uh, he has disengaged uh, from me. You can also kill the henchman I... down there and then open a flank. I would prefer that, so let's do that. Um, movement. Go to here. Has one HP left. Okay, no, he has no HP left. Take it. <laughs> um, and. Do the wolves uh, count as allies? Yes. In which case, I'm just gonna stay here for the flank later. Very good. You're getting us uh, all of those sweet, yeah. sweet um, temporary points. Yeah. All right. I seem to recall that that was important. <laughs> um. Whom am I engaged with? No, I can. I lied, by the way. I cannot disengage uh, from his AoE attack. But I can get behind him and make him pay, suffer for what he has done to us. Nice little step in the back. That's all I can do for now. And. Hmm, let me think. Aqualu is going to get shed on. So I think I'm just going to stay here for now. There we go. Shed on is an understatement. <coughs> now Would you prefer Smeely? Uh, well, if we can somehow get uh, the guys on the lower flank down, that would be helpful. If you can, um, if you can heal me, uh, then Kualu has enough to just get away. And uh, here, have have two HP. <laughs> three. It's not too bad. Not three. We can. And then. I have to go into AOE range to yeah, attack the guys. Go, yeah, well, you can go in and you can also move out. You just need to find a sweet spot where you're only hitting him. All right, let's see if we can manage that. That's not it. That's not it, Chief. That one works. All right. Nice. Hey, five damage. You removed all of um, his guard. Yeah. Uh, would you prefer... Uh, I should probably like stay to your left so I can potentially grab the weasel's attention. Uh, that might be helpful. At the moment, Kualu is in a world of pain. He doesn't really have a lot of defense at, uh, so far. And I'll do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to weaken him. We're going to deal as much damage as we can. And then I hate to do it but we're going to disengage and the boss just slaps his boss <laughs> we're letting the why wolf you... uh, take the place nice uh why didn't you go for the the flower is the flower even still there uh yeah. the flower is still there and i will take it um it's a good question all right um Wolf downstairs will die soon, unless the henchman dies first. But well, that's unlikely. But you can still give it Very a try. Likely, yeah. uh, looks like I can at least not. Actually, I feel like we should kill the raider instead. Uh, we yep. can for sure get him down if uh, my ranger helps out. So sure, I'll do that.
Nope. Good hit. And then we are going to go Yep, here. support your guy. That's perfect. Yeah, both of them. Rip. <laughs> Rest he was in a good boy. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm following through with uh, your suggestion. Ooh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> what was surrounded? Like, it, oh no, it's the the weasel that's surrounded. Galvanation. <clears throat> So now it's more damage. I make more room on the back so that you're aware the moment that you're in the back, guard is halved. Uh, the way that guard works is 35% guard means every strike only hits for 65% uh, damage, mm. unless you destabilize him and reduce the guard or attack from behind, in which case guard is halved. Destabilize was zero guard, right? Correct, yeah. Right? Uh, originally? Did they change that? No, no, uh, that is still uh, there. All right, your uh, turn. Okay. Uh, I mean... He is currently considered surrounded. You can just stay where you are and attack uh, or try to get around. Uh, with galvanizing, uh, currently we're doing double uh, uh, damage uh, as we're winning the fight. And we can either try to get the henchman down there and kill it or we're going for Celaria the weasel. I, yeah, we should try to kill Celaria because if you right click her, uh, you see she has really, really nice gear and there's a good chance that we're getting one of those pieces. Bam, yeah, that's, that's insane. Several stars and that stuff. All right, um, no point in attacking from the side, right? Just behind. Uh, the... Yeah, I mean, you can attack also from the front because uh, if you, Go a little bit closer to the wolf. You are supporting the wolf. Currently, he's not taking. Uh, it. There you go. Now you support him. Means less damage for the wolf. Oh, that's pretty decent uh, damage. Do you have anything you can do with your action points, or should I spend it to heal the wolf a little? Uh, yeah, heal, heal, heal. There you go. Wait. Already getting a lot of mileage out of that heal skill. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, yeah, I need to get back into combat, which is why we're healing. Is there anything else here? Got another potential heal ability. But yeah, that's all we can do for now. Yeah, the henchman is gonna close in quite a bit on his turn, so definitely want to get my ranger out of uh, danger there. Ranger uh, danger. down uh, the leader lady. I could put Kualu um, down there and theoretically... Uh, nah, can't really. No, but someone could... Uh, we can we can, we can, can let him move, move in and then you can grab him. Yeah. The thing is, we can probably kill him in a single turn if we let him come in. All right. Let's focus on uh, Celadria. If you want, um, I will... Uh, right. Okay, that's good. That, oh, that's fantastic. Getting getting quite lucky. In um, Aldano, if you move him uh, to... Can I point? No, I cannot. If you move him right uh, below the wolf, uh, still uh, so that you support him, then that henchman will attack you, and you do have uh, still plenty of armor. The wolf might die. Yeah, I can dash away as well. So, yeah, you're I'll protecting him like a good boy. All right, All right. look at that. Ooh. Crit for 15. Who's your daddy? Apparently, Kalia, which is a bit weird. <laughs> Kalia yes. is dealing a lot of damage. All right. Well, that is uh, appropriate. So we have the wolf and us going, so I'm just going to attack her and yep. then the wolf is going to finish her off. That is true. Smack. Look at that, down to 1 HP. Fantastic. Uh, if we you still have a free point. To... Yeah, heal... yeah, if you. Heal the wolf, maybe, or if you go down to I the think... archer, you can support that flank. Yeah, I was thinking of healing you. Or are we still already screwed with the wounds? No, no, it's, uh, it's okay. Um, you can do that. Well, it's fine. You might want. Yeah. 
Yeah, your phrasing is slightly weird, so... Uh... No, it's okay. It's fine. It's a All good right. turn. Uh, no reason. I'll just uh, move away again. Wolf uh, kills him. Uh, and we say can say okay, because uh, the last guy doesn't have a lot of loot. So we take the order win. And there we go. We got Corporal Drangle, a nice buckler. The worst piece of gear she had. <laughs> uh, yeah, from all of uh, from all of the options, uh, it is the worst piece of gear. But for Qualu, we leave her. Okay. For Qualu, it increases his defense dramatically. Um, he has now fifteen guard, which is not too bad. Uh, by the way. What you what, want? You're finding the wolf soon? <laughs> yes, we need food. I see. <clears throat> well, it would have been good if you uh, let me level up since Freya level. Well, that can happen like, in episode like number going. two, my dude. Uh, for now. I see. see, on the left hand side, you now have a spear, and spear throws scale with strength. So, it just letting you know if you use Freya, you get an extra attack out of it. I see. Well, that seems like a good idea. Um, I do want to make sure that my archer doesn't get wrecked, so... Yeah, you Got can that. take the place Keep from him. behind. There you go. Keep him over there. And I guess we'll start with Freya, grab the spear, throw it at the wolf. Oh yeah, sure, go ahead. It was like a decent opener. Let's do that. Um, Need to go into the red circle, yep. Yeah, a little bit more apparently. There that should go. be good. Then you get an extra ability, you can throw it. Oh, oh yeah. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, you don't get anything more though. No, no. Well, it's just that. Alright. Almost. But, I mean, what are you expecting? You one-shot the poor guy, almost. No, I didn't. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't. Uh, okay. Okay, go let ahead. me uh, go in with the tank. That's one. And I'm putting myself into a bit of an exposed position. All right. I'll uh, take my ranger, uh, move myself next to your rook. Could not uh, like that. Yeah, that's good. Take the shot. And we'll stay right here. Cool. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're saying no this time because we because want. Because we want as many wolf kills. Yeah, we want all of the meat. All right. Uh, we have two actions. True. So I'm gonna go. Do you have three actions you can use? You have demoralize and shit, right? Uh, yeah, I do. So uh, <clears throat> I'll use the archer and get us some more points. Oof. That was much more than was indicated. It said like 9 damage. There's always a chance uh, for a little bit more damage. Yeah. That was more than just a little bit. <laughs> Kalia Oops. hits for 16. Nice. Good. We take food. More food. Actually, we take all of it. Alright. Uh, Kwalu leveled up and now has the chance to be a fighter a protector or a sword master um, since I I know the right uh, selection here would be fighter because it's just a fantastic build um, but uh, for once uh, I at least in this playthrough want to play kind of uh, really um, out of the ordinary build so I'm going protector uh, which is a great build for larger uh, for larger just parties let's say 10 people upwards but it is not as good for smaller parties so i have leveled up in protector protector allows me now to wear heavy armor and um, I, I do get the skill encouragement the unit and all allies in the area gain protection protection is 30 percent damage reduction that's not the kicker once the skill is upgraded you will love it because it gives uh, inspiration to everyone and uh, inspiration essentially means that everybody moves twice as far 
So that's a fantastic, um, a fantastic option. It's and, pretty crazy, yeah. Yeah, in terms, I can, yeah, I can get Freya uh, up as well. Either Berserker or Executioner, probably. I don't like Sentinel with the repost. I have Didn't. seen a lot of Executioners because Executioners is just extremely uh, good. So maybe you take Berserker because I uh, haven't played with Berserker in a long time. So let's try that. Yeah, it seems like whenever they land a critical hit, they then deal 50% more damage next attack. Exactly. Yeah, the the problem with Executioner is it's a very expensive ability. And uh, again, if we're like playing fuck up once you die, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't want to be the one that like looks for as many enemies as possible because I could never exactly figure out how much damage it would deal. Oh, it's okay. All right. Um, career plans, how much influence do we have? 80. Yeah, you can... On Freya, I have willpower and movement at 1, so I can easily upgrade to that to 2. Um, and uh, get a willpower boost, I guess, for now. You would, you would level willpower even if you have, like, 2 pluses in strength, right? Yeah, uh, I would always go willpower 15 first, because that's a free not die. Cheat death, yeah. Yeah. All right, fair enough, fair enough. The the safe scum mindset comes into play. It's like, oh yeah, I can just reload. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen here. All right, uh, I think we're ending the first episode here. And Chris, I think we're run, running back to town uh, where we can craft something and maybe we can get that ni a nice little recruit. Um, this way is the faster one. We just need to outrun uh, the, uh, the bandits. And whilst we're doing that, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Well, yep. I ran right into them. We're going to do that off screen. Very good. Until next time.